Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, we are talking about what is deployment and why is it key or even more than that in data science. Let's start with the most important person, you. So you have gone a long way learning data science, right? Data analysis, math, stats, machine learning algorithms, coding, learning to build and train ML models, neural networks and whatever you can imagine. But you made it. You got hired as a data scientist at a large audit firm. That is, for example, EY, KPMG, PwC, and Deloitte, the so-called big four companies. By the way, I've worked for one of them, but this video is not about me. So let's move on. Imagine the following situation now. You got the task to support the audit team, that is, accountants. And the accountants have to go through thousands of manual bookings, which could be fraud or even not. They got to check those bookings by taking a look at booking times and booking reference. And after a while, you have developed a perfect prediction model in Python. You can comment below which one you would recommend. Now, the next morning, you want to present your results. And you are going to the accountants and you are saying, Good morning, you will save a lot of time with my model. Works perfectly, so you are full of confidence. And the accountants are saying, okay, perfect. What do we have to do getting started? And you say, just open up your Python IDE, import the relevant data, do the right amendments, execute the script, and transform the output into a CSV with the results. And the accountants be like, no idea what this guy is talking about. And with this story, you already understand what deployment is about. So what is deployment? The process of taking a trained machine learning model and making its predictions available to users or other systems. So, of course, the accountants have to work with your model. And you can't just give them your script that doesn't work in reality. You have to provide it in a way that they can use it. And that is, for example, a user interface or something like that. And on the other hand, your script should run on other systems and in other programming languages as well. And that is where you need deployment for. A machine learning model can only begin to add value to an organization when that model's insights routinely become available to the users for which it was built. So remember that, and that is what I mentioned in one of my first videos. Have a business sense. You can't add value to an organization by just being good at Python. You have to create good tools that people can work with. By the way, these are two quotes from Luigi Patruno, which I will link in the description. It's a great guy. It's a really interesting blog. I will link it in the description. These are direct quotes from him. Let's move on to the workflow of a machine learning model, which is highly simplified here. We are starting at collecting data and cleaning this data. And with the data, we are looking for a suitable model. After we have successfully implemented that, we are training the model, testing it and validate it. And after that, we are going into production and deploy the model. So besides everything what I just told you, why should you even care? Well, deployment does make the difference. If you got deployment skills, the probability of getting hired is way higher. Deployment, or in specific, web development skills are highly desirable in data science right now. And also, deployment in cloud systems is so much relevant for real-time or live data analysis right now and is rapidly increasing in importance for data science in general. Not only big firms are implementing data-driven decision-making, but also mid-sized firms are moving in this direction. That does also mean that they need infrastructures for that. And that is where the cloud system suppliers are coming into the game. Deployment tools you should take a look at are first, web frameworks such as Flask and Django, which will be covered in this channel. Both are, by the way, written in Python. Second, cloud platforms, as said, highly relevant. And I will cover firstly MS Azure as I've worked with that before. 
I might cover other cloud platforms, but I want to make sure I have experience with them before telling you. Good news for you. Again, deployment will be covered in this channel. And you can skyrocket your skill set with deployment skills, as said. But first, of course, we need to build a solid foundation of our machine learning skills. With that being said, I thank you very much for watching. Hit the like button if this was helpful. Comment if you have any questions or a different viewpoint. Maybe you're saying, what is this guy even talking about? This is an engineering task. And of course, subscribe to support this channel. I'm really looking forward to seeing the upcoming videos. See you next time. Bye-bye.